Hey guys, so boom, got a new camera finally so I can start posting more. Hope you guys are all doing well. This video today is gonna be on confidence, right? I got a list of my top eight ways to get more confident. Um, I actually had it up to 25, but I didn't wanna drag it out. So before I start, I do wanna say this. Not everybody's confident. There's three different types of people. There's the people that are born with it, that's rare, that are confident in every situation. And then there's people who need to build on it, right? But then there's people that kind of fall in the middle. I personally consider myself a person that fell in the middle because yes, I'm confident. There's people who come to me and say, yo, how do you have so much confidence, right? Especially with my situation of the whole speech impediment thing, I still hold my head up high. I still ooze of confidence, even though that's kind of a bad way to say it, but I've heard that from other people. So let's get started. For number one, this is gonna sound kind of corny, but you need to smile. Stop showing people that quote unquote bitch face, because if you're gonna do that, nobody's gonna to wanna to talk to you, that's one, because everybody's gonna be like, yo, that person looks mad. Let me go talk to my son Juan, my son Brian over here, right? Instead of this person who just looks mad for no reason, like, so you need to start to smile more. And when you smile, you subconsciously trick yourself to say that you're happy because when you're happy, you're smiling, right? So boom, I know that sounded corny, but that's number one. Number two is stand tall because really take a look at it. When you see people slouching, right? They kind of look depressed. And I know people who have a, um, who have a hunchback. So like, they're like really, really down. And they just like look very depressed, even though they're happy. But just because they're like down like that, it just looks weird. So stand tall. And if you have that problem, lay down on the floor for like 20 or 30 minutes a day. Nah, nah, nah. like 10 minutes a day, right? Because that's going to help you with standing up straight. So that's number two, stand up straight. I have everything here. So that's why I'm looking down. So number three is groom yourself and dress dress nicely because you don't want to go out and meet people and they look at your hand and they see that it's dirty inside or like it's not clipped it's very long right that's weird that's nasty to me at least like that just shows me that you can't take care of yourself so and you don't need to go out and buy like 500 dollars pairs of shoes and like um j crew suit and all that but look nice wear shirts that fit you pants that fit you go out and buy yourself a new wardrobe because to be honest when you dress nicely people are going to look at you and when people look at you that makes you feel good because you say oh that person just complimented my suit or that person said yo you got some nice nice kicks on where'd you get them because i've been trying to find them so that makes you feel good so that's number three Number four, which is important to me, which I like to stress, and these don't really go in an order, but number four is Photoshop your self image. So you need to really sit down and think about who you wanna be, right? If you wanna get in shape, right? Like I personally wanna get into shape, but when I tell people that, they think, oh, he wants to get humongous. No, 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 no. I don't wanna look like a big bubble. I wanna gain let's say a couple more pounds, get my six pack, look nice, right? Look like I could push some weight, but I'm not trying to get huge. So that's what I see in my head. But what I'm telling you to do is see who you want to be mentally, physically, and emotionally, because sometimes, yes, you may look good, but emotionally and mentally, you might not be good you might not show people that you have confidence, that you're the type of person they could go to. So you need to say, hmm, how am I gonna get better in these situations mentally and emotionally? Because in certain situations, you might shut down, you might blow up, and that's not a good look. The best look is, okay, that person's in a situation, in a tough spot, but that person's remaining calm. That person is getting the job done, even though there's pressure on it. Right? So really think about who you want to be 
mentally, physically, and emotionally. That's number four, right? Number six, which I also find important to me, is exercise. Because look at this, and I've been telling this to people recently. There's some people who just look good, right? Like they have the cute face, the nice body. They never step in. They've never stepped into some sort of a gym, and they just look nice. And there's people who feel like they're probably too skinny or too big or whatever their situation is, right? So now, in both situations, getting into shape won't hurt you. Because guess what? No matter what, you're gonna start to look better. When I was a little bit fatter and I started to get into shape again, but you saw it on my arms and in my face and in my stomach and all that, that's when my confidence shot up again. And I personally feel like I'm a handsome person in the face. So now that I fix this, also, my confidence went up even more. And even if you don't feel cute or you don't feel like you're in the best shape, whatever the situation is, getting into shape will always boost your confidence because people will notice that. People will say, oh, that person's getting big on me or that person is dropping in weight. Look how good that person looks now. So getting in shape is always the best thing for you. And I'm not gonna lie, people are gonna comment and you're gonna see it too. When you go to the mirror and take off your shirt and flex and stuff like that, you're gonna be like, wow, I didn't look like this two months ago. Look at the progress. Then you're gonna start to feel happy. You're gonna start to get more things done. So getting into shape is very important. So that's number six, right? Number seven is actually get prepared. So plan out your days because when you start to plan out your days and hit your goals, right? One, you're gonna look more competent because people who are the type of people that live day by day and just, okay, I'm just gonna do whatever. Some people may look at them as incompetent. So when you get stuff done, that's gonna make you feel good and you're gonna get better at it. So you're gonna start to say, okay, let's hit more goals. Let's do bigger and better things. And that's just gonna make you feel good. People are gonna notice. So that's gonna give you two things to satisfy you. So get prepared and start hitting goals. And number eight, which is very important to me, I know that I keep saying that there's things that are important to me, but this one really resonates with me because I had to do this with my speech impediment is really figure out your strengths and weaknesses. So I'm going to give you a quick example of how I used it with my speech impediment. So right now in front of this camera, I'm not getting stuck because guess what? I mastered this. I mastered sitting in front of a camera and speaking. But if you say, hey, I'm gonna need you to go speak in front of 50 people, 100 people, that's where I'm just like, mm, I'm gonna head out because you need to figure out what you're good at. So I know that I'm getting good at speaking on the phone. I know that I'm good at speaking in front of a camera. I know that I'm not good in speaking, speaking in front of a huge group, but I am good at speaking with, you know, close friends or acquaintances so you really need to figure out what you're good at work at that too because if you don't work on your strengths you're eventually gonna lose it but figure out your weaknesses and then work on that one by one don't say okay I figured out four weaknesses and I'm going to basically fix one well no you try to fix one every other day right now find them focus on one get good at it add it to your strengths, and then hit the other ones. That's how I've been doing it with my speech impediment. And I feel like that's how people should do it in general. So really figure out your strengths and weaknesses. And there's a quote that I personally love. And it's, if you know yourself, you win all battles. Really think about that. So those are my top eight tips for improving your confidence. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know down in the comment section if you want for me to talk about a certain topic. 
Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Love you guys.